Hey guys, it's Jen with my Organized Tribe. Today I am going to show you how I store all of my kids' school memories and paperwork and all of that kind of stuff. So what I do is I have this these foul boxes here that I have one for each kid and that's what I store all of their school paperwork and important papers, report cards, um, things just things that you want to keep. If you want to make one like I made for my kids, I have the um, directions on my website. And it will also have the free printable that I made for the tab labels and the cover sheet for each year. So first off, I have my tab labels here that will go in my file folders that I made a few years ago when I made Kaylin's um, school box. Um, so I'm going to get those printed first. Okay. All right, so here we have all of our labels. I'm gonna work on getting those cut out. While I am cutting out these um, foul tabs, I am going to go ahead and print out these sheets for every year. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting those printed while I'm cutting the tab labels. Now that I have all of the file tabs cut, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the plastic tabs and attach them to all of the folders. Now what I do when I put my files in here, I have them, um, the assorted colors of the file hanging folders. You can get whatever color you want. You can get the different colors or solid colors or whatever, but I just kind of liked the colorful. It just reminds me, you know, of the school colors. And then for the tabs that I created, I just did them different colors. And so it all just kind of goes along with it. Um, 
then I rotate colors, putting them in here, and then also go back like this and then start over again instead of doing them all in a single row. Um, I do my other organizing going in single rows per category, but I just, I do the school boxes like this. So here is the final product of the school memory box. This is for my youngest son. Um, so his is not really going to have much in it yet. He's starting his first preschool year this August. Um, I just have it all ready to go for him. And in the back is where I keep all of the yearly sheets to fill out and put their picture on. I don't attach it to the folder yet. Um, I kind of wait because it's a little bit easier to fill it out and work on it. And then once it's completed, go ahead and attach it to the folder. Um, once you go ahead and get that year completed and everything is in the file folder and ready to go. I also put a vinyl decal sticker on each of the kids boxes with their names. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just use regular letter stickers or just put a sheet of paper with their name in the front of it. And so you can tell whose is whose. I did go ahead and attach one of the yearly sheets to the front of a folder. I just use a glue stick and coat it really good and just stick it on there. Uh, I just like it just to the front of the folder for a nice little yearly recap with the child's picture. I just, I just like the touch that it adds. Here we just have the completed version of all three of my kids' memory boxes that will just go into the closet and we'll just fill it each year when they complete a grade. So there you have it. I put their names with the vinyl decal on each box. Um, just kind of color coded for kind of the colors that it goes in our family for each kid. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button to see more organizing uh, ideas and all things motherhood. Don't forget, if you want the free printable to make your own box, head over to my website. The link will be down below. And I hope this video was helpful to you and I'll see you next time. Bye.